This is Miriam Tucker reporting from the annual meeting of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists. I'm here with Dr. Robert Heizenga from TV's Biggest Loser. Um, here at the meeting, he's presenting his latest on uh, a series of studies on, on the outcomes of these contestants. Can you tell us a little bit about your research? Yeah, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, we took the last two seasons, 35 individuals, and like most seasons, about half had either prediabetes or diabetes, and we looked at every marker of diabetes. And so we took our normals, and it found out that they weren't really that normal because they actually have some increased glucose variability. Then we looked at the pre-diabetics and the diabetics, and we found that literally within one week, only a 4% weight loss, there were substantial improvements in the hemoglobin A1C faster than was ever thought before. And by six weeks, every marker, that's your fasting sugar, that's your hemoglobin A1C, that's the uh, two-hour post-oral glucose tolerance test, and the fasting insulin. Every one of those markers was absolutely normal at five weeks, and by six, seven months, at the end of the show, not only were they normal, but they were at a very low level across the board. Normals, prediabetics, and diabetics. So it was an amazing transformation, and then the study showed also all the hypertension, which was 80% of our contestants, about 50% who were on medications, all of them were normal off medication. Well, I guess the biggest question that people ask you is, how do you, how do you implement this in real life? How can, what message can physicians take from a television show and use in their own practice to motivate their patients? Well, that's, that's a six million dollar question, obviously. Mm -hmm. The first thing that we've done is we've egalitarized, you know, the overweight population. We've shown people in this country they can do it. And hopefully doctors who are too busy to watch TV, but hopefully they've heard through the grapevine mm -hmm. that essentially we can do it. We can get their, their, their weights down and make their diseases vanish and take them off all their medications. So how do we do it out there? Well, we have to change America's mentality and we have to make it reimbursable to teach people how to get motivated to teach people what exercise really is, teach doctors what exercise really is, and then get people the nutrition, the sleep help, the psychiatric help, the sports medicine backdrop, because when you work out a lot, there's going to be injuries. So when we get that team together, it's going to be far cheaper than bariatric surgery, and I believe equally effective, if not far more effective, because they have a, they have a death rate, you know, for our morbidly obese people, you know, the death rates have been estimated up to 4%, and so we've had no deaths out of 371 patients. So we can do it, but the system needs to be changed because right now we haven't put our resources toward a aggressive medical therapy. And what we call intensive medical therapy, of course, is not. And, and we, we're, we're showing the way. And it's, it's exciting to be part of a reality TV show that really, you know, we've put out this huge number of abstracts and articles on these people. And, you know, I really hope that if we can change, you know, even a handful of lives, you know, what a great, you know, side effect of a TV show. It's terrific. Thank you, Dr. Heisinga. Thanks for Mary having me. Tucker reporting from Philadelphia. Yeah.